Well, good day everyone. Live look outside Delray Beach looks like a beautiful day heading towards the beach today to watch out for rip currents though. We do have a chance of seeing those. Otherwise, lots of sunshine temperatures in the middle 80s should be in the upper 70s for this time of year. So temperatures will be running above average as we head into the next several days. In fact, already 85 degrees. This is pretty much our daytime high for today. We're at 84 in Boca, upper 70s into Vero Beach. Now the winds are for the most part light, but right now they are off offshore. Eventually, as we head into the next several days, the winds will go southeasterly and that will help to keep our temperatures running above average right on through the weekend. So it's all week and into the weekend too. All right, so on the satellite image, all is quiet up and down the peninsula. Just a couple of clouds drifting through right here. We have a strong area of higher pressure and that's helping to keep all of that moisture well to the north. The high will eventually work its way on top of us and then eventually settle out in the Atlantic and it'll sit there for a number of days, blocking all of this moisture from moving into South Florida. Now we could certainly use a little bit of rain. We are running uh, about three to four inches below average for this time of year. We are abnormally dry. Not we don't have a moderate drought just yet, but we are abnormally dry. However, notice into Southwest Florida, and that does include parts of far Western Palm Beach County. We do have a moderate drought there, so we could again use a little bit of rainfall, but it's not in the cards over the next couple of days. The Honda Classic that is coming up this week. It kicks off Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday rinse and repeat partly to mostly sunny skies, daytime highs, middle. 80s. There is a very weak front that's moving on through, but for us, high pressure will be the main feature that will settle just to our south as we head into tomorrow. And then by the time we get to Wednesday, it slides offshore and then we'll have this big storm system right there, but that's going to stay well to the north. Again, this high acting as a big mountain of air, if you will, and blocks all that moisture and keeps it well to the north of South Florida. This afternoon, 85 degrees in the Palm Beach is 84 into Port St. Lucie, 86 into Vero Beach. Overnight lows, we're going to see them dropping into the middle 60s, at least for the Palm Beach is a little bit cooler into the northern Treasure Coast. We could have a little bit of fog developed by early tomorrow morning too, so keep that in mind for the morning commute on Tuesday. If you're going boating, the seas are coming down. It was a very windy weekend and that helped to chop up those seas, but the seas are now subsiding anywhere from two to three feet. Inland waters do have a light chop and there are your high and your low tide times. First alert seven day forecast President's Day. If you happen to have it off, enjoy 85 degrees over the next several days. Middle 80s, lots of sunshine, very little rainfall. And again, that's the story into the the weekend too.